attempt to use this windshield repair kit on that stone ship that you saw in a previous video that I got from when I went to the Tale of Dragon. It's right there. I think you can see it right there. And that was back in June. I was kind of hoping it would crack and I just get a new windshield out of it, but it isn't. So someone else tried it and they said it worked pretty good. So I'm going to try this kit right here. Um, I've never used it before. So I'm going to give it a shot. And we will see. It's right there. Uh, I'm not going to film doing it. You can watch that in another video. I'm just going to do it and see if uh, the before and after. So you can see it quite well from right here. At least I can with my eyes. I don't know if you can see it in there. I kind of spin around. I showed you up close. And then we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like after I do this. Obviously it says to do it right away so it get dirt in it. But uh, we'll see. Alright. Alright. I decided to set up the camera anyways to show you guys what I'm going to do. Just to see if I fuck it up. You'll know. Pardon my French. Um, so I'm going to set the camera up and when, uh, if it turns out I'll, I'll show it. If it doesn't, uh, you'll see me screw it up. Alright. It says to clean out any glass fragments in the center of it out, which I don't think there is any. So they gave you a little razor blade for it. So I'm going to do that. And then it says to center this piece directly in the middle of it. So I'm going to look straight down on the windshield. I can see directly in the middle. You push this, this thing on right here. Kind of squish it down. So that's on there. And then on to the next step. This little base piece here, you gotta screw that down, and that needs to be directly in the center of the impact area. And it says to look inside the vehicle to see if it is. Now I'm not really sure, it's pretty close. Let's see, it has to come down a little bit. Let's say right there, that'd be a better spot. Let's try that. <clears throat> I can see a little dimple from the rubber piece where it's making on the glass. Seems better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, screw down the resin chamber, turning clockwise so the rubber mouth is flat against the windshield in complete but gentle contact with the glass. Excessive pressure will, will alter the original curve of the glass, affecting the flow of the resin and effectiveness of the repair. So. Don't screw it down too hard, it says. Gentle pressure, like that. Um, squeeze three to six drops of the repair resin, depending on the content of the damage, or the extent of the damage, into the resin chamber. Mount on the windshield. If the resin leaks out of the bottom of the resin chamber, gently turn the resin chamber clockwise, just enough to prevent leakage. Okay, so now I'm gonna squirt it in there. And then after that, you're going to screw this down into it. Yep, so that's next. I'm going to put a couple drops in there and then uh, twist the thing down. I'm going to squeeze the resin in, three to six drops. One, two, three. And that'd be enough for this one. This is kind of a small one. And then I'm going to push this in pressure driver, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's called a pressure driver on here. Yeah, obviously being a truck, you have to kind of really
Now it says wait. Wait uh, four to six minutes. So let's see what happens. I spent about 20 minutes going back and forth with this thing, basically moving the plunger up and down. And now I'm going to remove it. I'm going to try to capture what's dripping down the on the bottom side here. There's a little bit left down there. Okay, I'm going to have to grab something to catch this. Yeah, I'm going to have to grab something. So the outer area is still there. So Yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm happy with it or not. There's a slight crack there and a slight crack crack there. I could still see it pretty good. Hmm. I think I'm going to do the process over again. Move a little bit and do it again. See if I can push it in the cracks. Okay. It's been long enough. i got to remove this one. I'm going to put the curing thing on it. And then we're going to put it in the sun. But it says just to turn it off like this. Lift it. As quickly as you can. To help reduce that and take this and basically put it over top of it and use a razor blade to basically push it in. So now I'm going to go move in the sun and we'll see from there. Well, I can definitely say that it doesn't work like the packaging says. As you can see, it's right there. You can still see it. Is it as bad as it was? No, but it's still there. And I did it two or three times trying to make sure. So. We'll see if it cracks during the winter. If it does crack, I get a new windshield, but it is minimized. It isn't as bad. So I think you can see it from there. So we will see that and the simple fact that I didn't do it right away. So I may have had contaminants in it. I'm not really sure. But as of right now, I can still see it. I can still even see it from here. Just from right there. Move around see if you can see it. But I gotta wash this thing. This Raptor is extremely dirty. It's got back from a uh, eight, just about 800 mile road trip with it. So, and almost all rain. Well, <clears throat> that's the result of the uh, Rain-X uh, windshield repair kit. Okay, thanks for watching.